People with epilepsy can lead full and active lives. However, like other long-term conditions, epilepsy does come with some risks. It's important to know about them, as if left unchecked, these can become very serious. People with epilepsy can be at risk of dying prematurely, so knowing about epilepsy risks and how to reduce them is important. In the UK, approximately 21 people with epilepsy die each week, over a thousand a year. Research suggests that at least half of these deaths could have been prevented. Because of this knowledge, SUDEP Action, the only charity dedicated to tackling epilepsy deaths and raising awareness of epilepsy risks, has worked with experts to create free, award-winning tools to support health professionals and people with epilepsy to discuss and review epilepsy risks. People with epilepsy are at risk of dying because of things like accidents, suicide, drowning or status epilepticus. However, up to half of all epilepsy-related deaths are due to something called SUDEP. It stands for Sudden Unexpected Death in Epilepsy, where a person with epilepsy dies suddenly and no reason for death is found. SUDEP is the cause of death for approximately one in a thousand people with epilepsy every year. What causes SUDEP is currently unknown. Research suggests that there could be a range of causes, such as the effect of seizures on breathing and heart rate. Research has identified risk factors linked to epilepsy deaths and SUDEP, for example, people whose seizures are not controlled by medication, known as active seizures, are at increased risk. For those having tonic-clonic seizures or seizures when asleep, nocturnal seizures, the risk is also higher. Young adults between the ages of 20 and 40 years are at increased risk. It is important to remember that risk factors are very individual and risks can change over time. This is why it's vital individuals with epilepsy, their families and clinicians know about epilepsy risks and regularly review them so positive actions can be taken to reduce them where possible. Even those who have fewer seizures or who are currently seizure-free should know about epilepsy risks and have a regular review of their epilepsy to check nothing has changed. People with epilepsy, their families, carers and health professionals can all play a part in helping to reduce epilepsy risks. SUDEP Action, together with the Cornwall Partnership NHS Foundation Trust, has developed a SUDEP and Seizure Safety Checklist, which is a free tool for health professionals to support their risk management and risk communication with people living with epilepsy. The checklist has won numerous awards for its groundbreaking approach to improving epilepsy care. The checklist is quick and easy to use, helping positive discussions about epilepsy risks and how they can be managed. The checklist is created using the latest research evidence and is supported by leading experts. Health professionals can register for the checklist from www.sudep.org forward slash checklist. If you have epilepsy, why not tell your health professional about the checklist? People with epilepsy can also download our free EPSMON app, a quick way to regularly check on your epilepsy risks and well-being. Simply go to www.sudep.org forward slash EPSMON and download it for free. To learn more about epilepsy risks, head to our website www.sudep.org and visit us on social media. Knowing about risks means positive action can be taken against them. Speaking openly, honestly and regularly about epilepsy risks, including SUDEP, really could save lives.